I'm Evie Kendall and I work here at the School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine at Monash. So I'm a bioethicist by trade and I currently teach uh, epidemiology and biostatistics to the biomedical science students here and health society and culture to the health science students and medical ethics and prevention science to the medicine students. Mm -hmm. I started teaching at Monash in 2011 in the Faculty of Science and I was hired into the core second year unit uh, scientific practice and communication and this is an interesting unit because all the students have to do it in the Faculty of Science and it's the unit that they most appreciate having done once they've finished their degree and they've gone into the workplace but it's the one that they're not too hot on doing at the time. They're not used to doing work that's all written uh, and oral presentation style rather than laboratory style. They find the laboratory uh, exercises really exciting and they're a little less interested in the classroom tutorials. So the responsibility is really on the tutors to bring the enthusiasm to the classroom to get the students engaged. So it was very much being dropped in the deep end and having to refine my teaching practice straight off the cuff. So from there I went into the Indigenous Tutorial Assistance Scheme with the Ulenje Indigenous Academic Engagement Unit at Monash and there I got to teach a lot of fun things, so everything from neuroscience to comparative literature and cultural studies, so a very diverse range of topics there. From there I briefly taught at Deakin University uh, Biochemistry and IT before moving into the School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine in 2012. So at present I'm teaching mostly biomedical science students with some health science and medicine students as well. What I enjoy most about teaching is the opportunity to share in the achievements of my students. So there's only so much you can do in one lifetime, but if you're an educator, you get to instill knowledge and enthusiasm and inspire the next generation of policy workers, doctors, health scientists, biomedical scientists, and you feel as if you've contributed and had a wider impact on society. So our students move into a number of career paths and I always feel like I hope I've inspired them uh, to engage more critically with the world around them and to become better global citizens, which is one of our goals here. I found the major challenge in teaching is getting the students engaged with the content. Our students today have a lot of diverse demands on their time. A lot of them are working to put themselves through university, so they need to have paid employment as well. And they're often distracted by technology, even in the classroom. So I think the challenge is getting them involved and making sure that they are inspired to keep learning even after they've left the classroom. My primary advice uh, for people that are interested in getting into teaching and research is to diversify. So have a number of interests that you can pursue. So I recommend drawing out a Venn diagram, things that you're good at, things that you can make money from, and things that you love. And if you're very lucky, you'll be able to carve out a career in the intersection between those three things. But most of us end up having a bit of a compromise. So what we love might be what we do on the weekends, our hobbies, and what we're good at and can make money from is what we do as a career. So by all means, pursue the thing in the center of that Venn diagram, but always have multiple options. It used to make sense back in the day to focus on just one area of teaching or one area of research. But with something like 70% of teaching being done by a casual workforce at the moment, it's more strategic to have a diverse range of teaching and research opportunities that you can pursue for employment. I've worked in most of our faculties here at Monash in some capacity, and it's been a very valuable experience being able to do that.